Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, please guys, thanks for the support. You have been showing me all the way through the older videos, the likes, the comments, really keep up the energy. I love it. Uh, today, I have a guest today and uh, we'll see him shortly. He'll introduce himself because we're going to talk about uh, how to raise an African child. So we're going to talk with a parent who has been a parent for some good years. I'm just starting to be a parent, so I needed someone who is uh, way more experienced than me so uh, thank you guys keep on watching give us some likes some comments show give us some advice on what we can talk on more or what we can change what we can bring on later so let's go guys so guys uh, today I'm with uh, a guest today on our channel and he's gonna introduce himself uh, so Mr. Lego. thank you Macron uh, Thank you for having me on your platform. Uh, hello to your viewers. Um, my name is Douglas Mtangadura from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Uh, I'm a father of three. So the subject that uh, Magnon wants us to discuss is a, a subject that uh, I'm quite familiar with. And um, I, I trust that uh, I, I will give as much information and I will remain truthful to the subject. Thank yeah. you, Magnon. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, today, as the, uh, the term, uh, the mean the, the to, title says, we're going to talk about how to raise an African child. And uh, I chose you because you have three kids, you've been with them, they're older than mine. I've only one so far. So I believe you give us an overview. Because I'll bring in what, what I think I would love to do to my children, and then you bring your view like, okay, maybe it would have been this better. So I would like to start with. Uh, at what age would you leave child, your child to leave home? Uh, quite interesting. Like if at all, like, let me say, okay, let's start with a girl child because girls are always first like, uh, at what age would you let a girl leave your home? Quite interesting. You know, uh, with the girl child, it's quite a sensitive, uh, it's quite a sensitive area because yeah, uh, they require our protection all the way through mm -hmm. and through. Mm -hmm. You hand over your child to someone who is getting married to her and she still needs protection from that person and she still needs protection from you, she still needs protection from the state, yeah. she needs protection from just about everybody. Mm -hmm. So at what age I would uh, let my, my daughter go out and stay alone? Yeah. As soon as uh, she shows maturity, she's done with the college education, she's independent, she can stand on herself in terms of finances so that mm. she cannot be waylaid by, you know, these treacherous guys out there. Yeah. So I, I would say maybe 23, 24, that oh. would be a, a good age for her to go and stay out. Mm. Okay. How about a boy? Uh, with the boys now, it's about maturity. And uh, I would rather give uh, the boy child an opportunity to make a decision for uh, himself. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think... Uh, at, at, at the age of 20, a boy can, can stand on his own. Can still struggle. Yes, he can, he can go there, join the trenches, mm. throw him in a deep end and you see if, uh, how fast he how, can swim. How much he can swim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, I agree with you. Like for a boy, 18 and above, it's okay a boy can start hustling on his own. Like, because let me say, for me, I left home when I'm around 18. Yeah, that was quite early though. Yeah, 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 yeah 18, it was, 19, yeah. that's when I left home. So, yeah, I believe a boy can start surviving. For a girl, yes, I agree with you again, because a girl needs protection. So, after school, yes, she gets a job, maybe she gets someone she's going to live with, like she's getting married, then that's okay. It's, I'm sure like someone is taking care of her right at that time. So, yeah, yeah that, that's, we, we agree on that. Thank you very much. And uh, the next one would be, at what age would you uh, talk about sex with your child? Oh, wow. Well, uh, a girl child? Yeah, we'll to start, start with. with. Girl, yeah. mm -hmm. Well, it's unfortunate that we have, a, we, we have a, an African culture that is quite different from the European type of yeah. uh, doing things. Mm -hmm. But uh, as soon as a child can read, write and understand, 
because every discussion that you take your child through must be supported by some documents, mm -hmm. uh, some books, and uh, you know to, to support the ideas. And so I think uh, at the age of 10, 10, 15, I'm sure that's when, between 10 and 15, that's mm. when a, a child starts developing those cognitive skills, especially when it comes to reading and understanding comprehension, yeah. even for you to understand the subject that we'll be talking about. Mm. I think at, at the age of 10, yes, I, I would start. Ah, how about a boy? That was a girl, right? Uh, yes, oh, that, was a, uh, uh, that was a girl, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a boy, it's, yeah, boys generally they take a bit longer to mature. Uh, so uh, I, I would take I would take him up maybe from fifteen years. Oh, yes, okay. yeah, I think that's when I will be able to start talking about uh, uh, sexual subjects with him because okay, yeah. because if I try to catch him young, I think you know that exposes him to, to, to that curiosity to it's try. And to be curious <laughs> about okay, what are they stopping you from? <laughs> You know, you know, generally the children become inquisitive and they, yeah, know, they, they become curious, curious. Well. they want to know well, well, oh, me this old this. man, what is he talking about? Yeah. How about if I try it and let's see how it what goes. So I think 15 years for me. For I don't know what you think. Uh, for me, for a girl, yes, at 10, because in most cases, like for example, if I told, uh, uh, it, it depends on how a girl grows, but at, it's possible that at 10 a girl can start uh, going into her periods, right? Oh, yes. See, yeah, so I believe, yeah, from 10, it's yeah, right probably much, 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 much earlier, earlier these yeah, days because, because, because uh, things are fast changing. I learned that uh, if I told that the girl is too healthy when she's growing up, like she's have, she's growing fat, like on the young stage, uh -huh. she grows early, like the body grows. Of course, yes, and they mature qu quite earlier quite than early boys than also. Boys, yeah. So, yeah, yes. 10 is okay. I'll start with the 10, go with into stages, like I wouldn't talk about the whole topic at 10, but I start now with bringing the topic at 10, 11, 12, as she grows. And that depends then, with the relationship you have with the child as I, well. I would <laughs> love to create a stronger relationship with my kids, like from day one. Yeah. So that they can be free with me. You know, whether they can bring in any discussions, I can be free with them to talk about anything. Yeah. I would love to do that. Yeah, and that's for a boy, uh, yes, for a boy, they tend to grow a bit uh, later than the, the, the girls. But still, I would want to start involving them in such at a similar stage. Yeah, around yes. 10 years 10, old. 10, still 11, 12, because it's still they are, uh, they are having that adolescent stage. Yes. And they are trying to be curious, even when you, you have not talked about because they learn more actually in their schools than we, they yeah. learn with us at home. And with the aid of social media <laughs> these days. You social know, media, they are finding out, they know how internet works, they are searching yes. this and that. so. And we, we might think at 10 it's quite early and at but 7 when, they are already yeah, you know, saving already, this kind of yes, information yes, yes, on yes, on internet, on their phones. So, mm -hmm. yes, it, yeah, it's better to, to catch them young, start discussing these things with them and so that they, you know, they grow up understanding the dynamics of sex. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, then they take sex to another topic. That would be, at what age would you stop beating a child? <laughs> Like in Africa, yeah, we do it. Like it happens. Yeah, yes. Disciplining a child because uh, it's different from us in Africa. They do the beating. Yes. Okay. No, we do. We do. We do the beating. Yes, we do, and we grow up uh, and we <laughs> receiving that. We're not kind advocating of for that <laughs> for anyone who is watching, but uh, it happens. It's reality. Back yeah. home in Africa, like it happens. That's how children are being brought up. Yes. Or they can uh, in Europe. They have different uh, ways of raising their kids. They have this um, denying you chocolate. So. So that the kid can do that, but in yeah. Africa they will just punk you and uh, you get in line. But <laughs> we are African, so we take it from the African perspective. Yes. So, uh, at what age, like for a girl and for a boy, yeah, what I, age would you like? I'm I'm really not a father who believes in, in beating prison. up, uh, beating up children. Which is a good thing, yeah. But uh, even the Bible says, if you spare the road, yes, you will spoil, spoil the, the child. child. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I think by now we, we have different roads, which is uh, verbal roads. We talk, we talk more more than we beat them up. Mm. But uh, I wouldn't want to beat a girl child. I think uh, I would rather leave that to, to my wife or to the mother. I, I think uh, for the the, yes for the girl. And for a boy. Yes, he is a man, and no, look, I'm, I'm building myself in, in that yeah, in yeah, that boy. I'm you, building yeah. myself. That's my future. That's my name. And you see, so you have to have a father in the making. Yeah, that's true. Uh, as early as 
five. Yes. You start. You stop. I will start. As early as five, I can. I can give him a little bit of that. Okay. You know. And um, until what age? Until maybe until 16, 16, 16, 16 when, years of age. When you age. feel like he can understand, like you. Can yeah, because talk from to him. from sixteen to eighteen, he's, he's now a man. Yes. And he can even take off his watch and uh, start and uh, rolling, minutes. rolling up his uh, his it's sleeves and say, "Hey, old man, look. If you talk to me, I will understand, but." <laughs> If you, you want, if you, if you bring me to the ring, I'll box. Yeah, so at 16, I, uh, I, I will stop beating okay. uh, the boy child. Though I wouldn't, uh, for five, I, I think I would start a bit earlier. Not really like, okay, I'll start punishing them a bit, a bit earlier, like uh, earlier than five, to me anyway. Uh -huh. But uh, stopping, yes, I would agree with you. The for a girl, I wouldn't want to because. Uh, they are fragile. If, if, yeah, they are fragile. <laughs> I, I would let her mother handle that. Unless when she can't handle that, then was, that's when I will step in. Yes, and generally in our African setup, the girl child respects the father and, and, and is scared of the father also. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, generally, like, he's scared. And yeah. the mothers don't help the situation also so, because when she misbehaves, they say, hey, hey. I will tell, I will tell your, your father, father and, you know, so, this, so should be generally so girls tend to behave much better <laughs> than the boys. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> And uh, yes, for a boy, still the same thing. Like I would start a bit earlier, but I would stop as soon as I they, they can listen to me. Like we just have to talk about something because to me, I would give like a warning. Okay, one, two, three would yes. be a punishment. Okay. The, the, the kind of punishment I would choose it depending on the age, but it would be a punishment that three. The that is number three. that is suitable for the for, offense yeah, that which, might have been committed. Age, because I wouldn't <laughs> be beating on every occasions, but. Uh, I would still give a punishment. It's very tricky with Either children. Either I will yeah. copy the Western style of denying them chocolates. That is if you, you provide them <laughs> with chocolates also. <laughs> but it's I deny them what you <laughs> well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit tricky with children. But because you know, you know what, what you can't so, even sometimes, sometimes you might say, okay, as a matter of principle, I don't want to beat my children. But, but they will force you they into... Force your hand into yes, that. they will force yes, you into yes. that and then you find yourself in a, because in again, a very uh, tricky situation. Because again, you may situation. try to be like, no, they will, I'll just be talking to them, but the talking has to stop somewhere. Because yes. it can't be like I'll always be because talking to them. Because it starts somewhere. It so starts it somewhere and it has to, to, to stop somewhere. Because if at all you're talking yeah. and the person is not listening at all, then because you try other know, means. They know you're just going <laughs> to talk and they know it. Ah, he's just going to talk. Yeah, you, 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 you won't, do go, you won't oh, go further than that. Then you would have developed another character in the house. Yeah, you don't need to, to set a wrong precedent, yeah, actually, yeah. especially with the first first born, second born. Because, because they are now the, the ones who are going to raise their hands. They will say, but yeah, you know, yes. these people go, got away with everything. Why, 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 why us? You now on why us? us? Yes. Yeah, I understand. So it has that. to start from day one, like, it just starts to break, because it will now start to be automatic, because even these older ones, they will start directing these young ones, depending on how you brought them up. Yes. They'll be like, no, Correct. no, no, that doesn't work that. So, because they know it happened to them, so they are already guiding their young ones. Yeah, true. I agree with um, you totally. Yeah, okay. So that's why I will take us to Okay, at what age like would you be okay with uh we we'll start with a girl of course. Mm -hmm. uh, a girl Ladies to... first all the time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they get preference. What, would, what time uh, would you let a girl introduce a boyfriend to you? Oh. Yes. Now relationships. We have passed through adolescence, we are there. Maybe she's 16, as, 17. As soon as, soon as uh, she starts dating, I think uh, we, should, we should come in. But look, we should know. The, yeah, we, we, because we need to protect the child. Yes. Like, like I said earlier on that, no, we need to protect them. We need to give them guidance. Mm. But I wouldn't want a child to bring a boyfriend at the age of 16. Yeah, you wouldn't want 18, to. That, that's, but let me say. For me, that's too young. She's still dependent on me. I'm paying school fees. Yes. You know, I'm buying her clothes, I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything for her. I think when she's done with the advanced level in school, maybe starting college somewhere there, mm -hmm. because once she starts in college, uh, she, she's standing on herself and she's making decisions. So, tw 21, 20, 21. A college is university in your country, right? Because yes. Okay, for us, we consider it as university. We don't call it college in Uganda. Oh, okay. So, okay, at university, which yes. is at 20 and up. 2021. 
Okay. Don't, okay. don't, don't we have college? Look, we, we, we have universities in, my, in, in Zimbabwe. Okay. We have polytechnic colleges. We have teachers' colleges. Ah, yeah, yes, we do have those. So, yeah, when, when a person finishes A level, she, she, she can either go to oh, yeah. polytechnic either college, college or university. university. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's why I'm saying colleges or university. Ah, okay. To, yeah, to because, be precise. Uh, okay, yeah, we have the colleges and, for example, you, you, it's your wish that you would want to talk about it when she's at university. Yes. Okay. But we both know it usually starts earlier El, than that. Earlier than that, yes. <laughs> so either they're going to hide you, not yes. telling you what's happening. True. Okay. But when it's happening, so in case it has started, you yes. didn't wish that, but it has started, the girl has, the girl has grown so fast in her mind. and that, that comes exactly to my point, that as soon as she starts dating, I, w I would want to know so you that uh, know. I, 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 I give her Okay, let me say you have seen some behaviors and you realize I that uh, something happening. is happening. Mm, it's something fishy is happening. Could you go to her and be like, okay, I see that behaviors, uh, what's happening? You know, with, with a girl child, she, she, might not, she might not open up. Like you are, you are saying that she might be hiding from you, she might have started earlier. Mm. But there's one thing that I will tell you, Magnon, uh, the mother will be knowing. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> The mother will be knowing, and, and, and it, it, out to there. It, it takes us back We're gonna to, come back to Stone Age. It takes us back to Stone Age, where our our fathers would beat the mother for the the girl yeah. child is pregnant. Uh, you yes, know, you, yeah, you, you, you were part of it. Knows, you know, yeah, you knew generally, how did a girl go into that stage when you don't know how it yes. means, you know. So, so the mother knows. It's but, like, but uh, if the mother is as good, is as, as honest. She should communicate with you and say, hey, look, your, your child is growing up so fast and uh, I think she needs guidance. Unfortunately, we, the African setup doesn't allow the mother to, to tell the father those kind of things because it's a secret between them. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. they usually keep it as a secret. Yes, uh, but w when it happens and when I see that, I uh, know there are some signs that uh, she might be seeing someone, then I, I need to engage the mother depending on the relationship that we have with the child mm. and then say, look, we, uh, we understand that you uh, are you are growing up and uh, it's a natural process. You go through it whether you like it or not at a later stage or at an earlier stage. But these are the things that you are likely to face if you so don't I, take care of yourself. I think that would, it even takes us back to now talking about sex. I think now that's when you're going to talk about real topics about sex. Because we have realized she's maybe stepping into that. Then you have to guide her like truly like pointing on things, real things. Like for example, if it's like you at this age you just know if you have sex unprotected sex that's yes. pregnant yes it's either pregnancy diseases yes dropping out of school so and you lose mess. value generally you lose yeah, your, your own value you lose your identity you lose your confidence you, you yeah. know there, there are a lot of things that a, a girl child loses when she starts sleeping out or you know or having multiple relationships outside mm. so there are a lot there, there's a lot that we need to talk about if the platform is set to discuss those kind of things with ah, the girl child. Okay. And how about a boy? Hey, this, uh, you know, you know boys. Uh, well, at, a, at, an, at, an earlier, at an earlier age, maybe 16, 17, I will start telling them. Because you know what? If you don't guide a boy child, the responsibility comes to you eventually. Yes. If he is not independent, which means he gets you, a kid somewhere. Yes, they bring a kid to you. Yes, because the parents will just bring a kid to to you to to, to, <laughs> to you the boy's home to the father. So they will bring it to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, you you need you need to you need to guide the the boy child at an earlier at an earlier age. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, boys we have, they have to be really really yes. responsible. Like too too much. Yeah, because for like for example for a girl I can be lenient. Let me say she has made a mistake. Okay, I can't even take care of her. Certainly, but for yes. a boy, <laughs> he will start facing his hustle. <laughs> because he doesn't... Anyway, hey, yes. Move. Because it's, a, it's another family that will be set in your, in your family. Yeah. I, I, so it will be a family in a in family. In a family, in a family. Of yes, and then the father is a dependent to you, and the then, wife is a dependent, uh, the child is a dependent. So you will be yes. having a lot on your plate. You'll be having more kids. So you need to guide these ones, you need to tell them, hey, look, man, if you think you are a man now, you must, must be prepared. And, you know, these are the repercussions. Mm. But, the more, you know, the, the most important thing is you must be independent for you to have a wife. Yeah. Because we don't need a situation where a baby has a wife and then another baby. 
and then you become three babies in baby <laughs> you know you <laughs> so at least at, at, at an earlier age we, we 15 16 you yeah, uh, having a baby yeah 15 16 <laughs> begin to you know you should begin to have those kind of conversations and guide your son oh, okay so that means okay let me say you have started seeing him like you you have, you're seeing signs so would you go to him and be like hey that what's is, happening yes that's very easy with a boy child what's unlike with a girl child that's very easy with a boy child because you know, with a boy child, you just take a walk with him. Yeah, let's let's okay, take a walk with yeah, a young man. I, I think uh, earlier on, our parents they would just take us when they are they are going to to hunt. I think those ages. Uh, yes. yes, you go hunting with the parent, then they will, you have those discussions there. Yeah, but now now it's a different setup. But so yeah, uh, let's go for ice cream. Yeah, let's let's yeah. let's take a walk or let's take a short drive and uh, let's let's have a discussion. No, look, my son, I know uh, I was once like you. I was once at your age. Mm -hmm. And I was dating at your age, so I know, I know how it uh, how it goes. Tell me what's going on. What's going on? And uh, any information you want, any advice you want, then you you know you articulate those kind of things, and you tell them, look, the direction you are taking will end up this way. You will okay. be a father, and mm -hmm. so be prepared. Actually, for me, like for example, I would love to be with that open relationship with my kids, in a way that uh, they feel free to tell me in case they are going into that. Because I wouldn't want my kid to, because the, maybe they'll be smarter than us, okay? They are, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they are actually, every generation, every know. generation is better than the I one before. I wouldn't want to believe that <laughs> they'll be smarter than me, but hey, that's reality. Maybe they'll be smarter than me, okay, yeah. or us in our generation. But I would want them to be close to me that they can tell me that. Because if at all, to be sincere, like, in, my parent didn't, I didn't get approval from my parent when I'm going to relationships. Yes. I didn't get a chance to be talked about, to talk about uh, such and with This my kind of subjects, yes. Yes, we didn't have. So that means it's, I kind of survived on my own. Yes, yes. You get, and it, that, that situation is a bit tough. If you're not smart enough, you're not survive. So that. you had to learn on your own. On, yes. You know. So I wouldn't want that to my kids. I would, would actually, for me, I always tell people, I would even ask them if they are. If at all I see any weird, weird movements, like I would go to them and I'd be like, hey, I believe maybe now we have a yeah. girlfriend, so maybe we should talk about that. Or even show me the person. That's, 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 the, that's, the, kind, that's the kind of relationship, uh, Magnon, that we, we, we should we, we build, should with, our kids, build with our kids. Unfortunately, we have a different situation now that we spend most of our time away ah, from yeah, home. Yeah, actually I'm coming to that. Yeah, like, they, uh, they, yes. they spend most of their time with the mother. So the boy actually, child can, can, can be more, you know. Actually, I, I believe they spend most of the time at school. To a certain extent, because yes. Let me say a mother is working. Yes. Uh, a child is in a boarding school. That's another thing, yes. A holiday is only three weeks. Yes. Okay. And something... Uh, in Zimbabwe, four weeks. So, in a year, they have three months. That they spend with, with the parents. parents. Yes. And the parent, we we are abroad hustling, so it's only the mother at and home. And the mother is working. And even also. the mother is working. So the four weeks spent at home, it doesn't literally mean that with a mother. On a <laughs> it's, it's just a just a few hours every day that oh they spend together. God. Probably three, four hours. Oh, you have a every day. So we, we we actually have a very big challenge. It's a big and one. then the moment you start gelling with your child when you go on a vacation on a holiday, you, you Sooner than you know it, you'll be leaving again, going back to, to work. And if at all you get a chance yes. that you'll be there when they're in a holiday, because even if you find them in school, you only get a day to go and visit them, like on a visitation yeah, day. Certainly, but you see, as a father or as a parent, definitely you see some some signs. Yeah, you of, see them. Uh, you know, and, and you know it's a, it's a process that you went through. It might so be you like, understand uh, it. it's either too late, only that you would love to catch that uh, situation when it's in a young stage, yes. like, so that you can be able to control it because yeah. like for example knowing about your child's sexuality when she's already pregnant for a, a girl or when a boy has already made someone pregnant yeah it's not now making any sense it doesn't because yeah, it's, it's way too late if it's milk it's already spoiled like it's, it's way too late it's yeah. way way too late yes. so if at all we can be able to catch that at an early stage, I think it would make a lot of sense. We, we, we still have some, some little opportunity, of course, to guide them through social media, mm. send them some videos, send them some documentaries, you know, at least they can get to understand the direction you want them to go. Yeah. You explain some of these things, but uh, it's, it's a bit of a challenge for us because we stay we most stay of our away. time away. Yes. yes. 
So uh, that brings me to that. Actually, I want to talk about uh, like what the biggest challenge you have found like as a father. As a father, when you're not at home. Uh, the biggest challenge is that uh, you see the ch the children develop a certain relationship with the mother because they spend most of the time together. With that, yeah. So they are one team, and you are one team. And most uh, in most cases, you are the opponent, so they want to score goals on you. The mother doesn't tell you exactly what's so happening. The mother is a good cop and you're a bad cop. Uh, Something to, like that. to a certain extent, because <laughs> you you don't spend time with them. All they need is your financial support mm. to to do whatever they are doing out there. If you have a wife who doesn't tell you or who doesn't give you enough information, then for, for some reasons you will be uh, you'll be remote to what is happening. And that's a challenge. Mm. So what you what you need to do is to open up uh, lines of communication with your wife so that she tells you exactly what happens with the children in your absence. And yeah. if you get that kind of information, you'll be able now to craft the way of communicating and uh, you know dealing with issues in your absence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, a good father. The good father's presence is always felt, even if he is not there. Yeah, authority is felt. Yeah. Yes, authority is felt. Yeah, so even it's, we it's just not make seen. a phone call, uh, things have to change a bit. Eh? It, it has to change. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that also brings us back, us to back to which kind of a woman you made. Up. <laughs> a, a very good, a very good one, a very good one. Because you see, the woman at home determines the direction that the children go because she's the operations manager. Yeah, yeah, because yes, you're not you, there, like, you, 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 you're just a finance manager. You, you craft policies, <laughs> but they have to be implemented <laughs> and at a certain level. And then it's, it's the wife who implements the policies at home. Yes, so if yeah. you're not there, you know, it's, it's, it's quite of a challenge. It's quite a, uh, yes, but it's, it's manageable. Ah. Yes, it's manageable. Uh, so, Mr. Douglas, another thing we'll talk about is... Uh, let me say, for example, in most cases, it's a boy yes. with the responsibilities. Like, uh, I'll give an example. Uh, you're in a neighborhood, okay? Your son borrows a bike uh -huh. from a neighbor, then he spoils it. Yes. At what age would you let them face those, uh, how do I say it? Like, Wait, at what age would you want your child to take full responsibility oh, of his yeah, actions? Full responsibility <laughs> of his actions, yes. <laughs> because you know that would be far. For example, if I told her, you have made someone pregnant, of course yes. it would be a different story. You have to take care of that straight away. Interesting, inter interesting, Macron. At 21, I was a father. Eh? So, I, so I, I can, <laughs> I can take you straight away from there. Oh. At, at 21, I was a father. And you know what my parents did? Mm -hmm. They just told me to take full responsibility at of, least of, straight one way somewhere of, of my ex because I, i've seen boys who are becoming fathers at 18 and i'm like i, I try to imagine if it had happened at 18 they, they could have said the same thing because i don't I, think i the think formula i would, was going to I change. would to do the same thing if i was a parent yes. if i was your parent i would just do at, the same at, thing. at 21 they told me look uh, you have done it uh, please take you, take you, are, you are a father now so uh, we, we want to hear from you what are your plans you know so, so uh, in other ways they said no look Take care of your... It, it, it's good. Uh, I've yeah. talked to someone who went through it. <laughs> so, what did you do? Like, you got the news? Okay. It happened. You see, that's what, that's what makes that this is, subject very interesting. Yeah, this is really interesting. And uh, really interesting because it, uh, I, I never got that kind of guidance when I was still a young boy until I impregnated a girl and then my, my parents said, oh, look... So, do, 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 you know, do you know? Do you know? Do you know the lady? Yes, I do. So you take full responsibility. Yes, yes. I do. Okay. So you are yeah, a father that, from today. That, that was a good one. Because some boys, what they do, they know what they did. Okay. And the repercussions, maybe they even knew. Actually, they know. They, by the time they go to for that curiosity, to to to, <laughs> to try things, they know what's gonna happen. But only that it yeah. takes over and uh, they become stupid. But. Uh, Yes, it's good that like, you took over, you accepted, because yeah, yeah. some guys they deny it, they deny the reality, and uh, yeah. You, you go through a lot of embarrassment if you, take, if you don't take full responsibility Actually, of, yeah, your, because, of the thing And that again, you, it comes back yes. to you, because if, let me say even when you make it in life, okay, but at one point you denied your child, like, right of yes. being a, a father to, to him or her. It's, then a, you, it's a cloud that follows yeah, you yeah, wherever you go. Because the, the kid will grow. The mothers will always take care of their, their, their babies. Of course, Maybe yes. her family will take care. But then it comes back like, be like, my son now, I think he's four years, or he would be four years, but you have never been there as a father. So even it gets, every time he grows older, you get scared of claiming him. 
because we're not there. So and, and, and the feeling, Macnon, that uh, your father, let's Actually, say the mother get married parents. somewhere. Yes. And, and then your, your child calls uh, another man uh, dead. Yes. And you are alive. And, uh, ah, that thing is a shame. It's traumatic. Don't, yeah. you, you don't because need to let our children go through those, those kinds of things. And the kid is things. right because the kid is calling a father someone who is taking care of them. Yes. If at all you didn't take care of the child, you don't have any, to be any man who takes care is the he's, father. He's the father, yeah. Yes. Definitely. He's the right. father. So... So we, you need you need to you need to, to make these these boys swim deep when, when things happen like this. If at all he breaks someone's property and yeah. you know you know. Let they, me say it's, maybe it's financial and the kid is just in primary. He's not earning anything. What would you do? Uh, How do you handle that? I, I I would rather give him the, some little menial jobs at home. That and they say, look, you, 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 have, you have to dig the garden, you have to wash the car, you have to so clean all the windows pay. so that we, we, you know, I will give you the money to pay for whatever oh. damages you have caused mm. next door. That's a good one. So, and we will be grooming a, a responsible person yeah. so that he knows whenever he takes a, a whenever he does anything, he has to, he has to take cautious, full responsibility. Yeah, yes, like he has to take full responsibility. If something goes wrong, actually yes. that one teaches them a lot because like for example, uh, let me say, parent, you have a car, yes, and you, maybe at one time you need to take it for washing on a washing bay, right? Yeah. So such that the jobs maybe you might give a child to do, like, hey, you're gonna wash this car for two weeks or yes. whatever the time, so that whatever money I would have spent on a washing bay, then I will. I will, I will hand it over to you yes. as payment, and then you go on to pay for your deeds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's that's a good one. That that's how we need to to groom responsible people because you see, these people represent you in future. Yeah, that's true. And uh, if you fail to groom your child, it still comes back to you. They say, ah, you see, yeah. this is the man. And by the time you can't even change anything because they already spoiled. Like you messed up everything. Yeah, like that, that's right. Because so, you can only nurture them when they're growing up. When yeah, they have grown, there is nothing. <laughs> so you need to catch them young. You need to yes, catch them need young. I, I, I will tell you something stage. very interesting, Macnon. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get much of this information we are talking about today when I was a young boy. Mm. But as soon as I got married at 21, my father took me out and, you know, and he gave me some hints on how to run a family. Don't ever, ever beat up your wife. You can always discuss issues. Yeah, yeah, as adults, and if you feel that you are not compatible, then... You need to find someone, you need to find mediators and then you, you explain your things out. If you fail at all to, you know, to jail, then okay, Actually, it's, it's better to separate than to, to fight to or fight, to yeah, kill each yeah, other. Yeah. You know, it, it, there were a lot of options that I was given, a lot of guidance. So I, I think I'm a good father. I think uh, I can I, manage you this. Are, yeah. <laughs> you are. Any father who takes care of their, his kids is a good father for a start. Live yeah. around how we bring up our kids, we bring our, up our kids in a different way. Everyone yes. does in a different way. But if I told a father is responsible enough to take care of his, ch his children, that, that's a good father for me. That's good. Yeah. Then there are better fathers who take other responsibilities and they are... Uh, oh, although it is one thing to be a good father and to be a good husband. So I think our, our uh, women should testify. <laughs> Uh, is it the same or they, 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 they are different? They are different right? These are different. You yeah. can be a very so good father, but a your, very, your, very your bad kids. husband. Yeah. <laughs> so, a good husband. <laughs> so, I don't know what you would choose being a good husband or being a good father. I think or it, both. they should be both. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I should yeah. either be 50 50 on both. Yeah, of them. You see, if you make the children happy, yes. yeah, the mother will be happy. If you make the mother happy, the children will be happy. So, because you know, it's the it's means justifying the end. For me, it wouldn't make sense if I told I'm a 90% a good father. And I'm 20% uh, a good husband. Uh -huh. Poor husband, I think that one is poor, not even good. <laughs> so I think I'd rather be 50 50 yeah. so, as a husband and as a father, other than being uh, uh, 90 you, and 10. And if you become a good husband, then definitely you become, you become a, good, a good father. Good because father, definitely the, you are, you are, the mother is the conduit and channel of communication generally between the children and the father okay. in the first place, in an African setup. You spoke about uh, having mediators in mm. case you, there's something wrong. Yes, yes for me, a relationship in marriage. Who yes. would you consider to be a mediator? A friend, a relative on your side, a relative on a uh, girl's side, our woman's side, our uh, wife's side, no, or no. a friend to a uh, woman's side? I think who, who uh, would be the, do uh, it best. The, the best mediators, I think, or, or in my opinion, yes, is, in your is, opinion. is either your friend or your friend. 
before you go to relatives because definitely yeah. relatives will be will be biased they will and take they will yes. take sides definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the other side you go they will take the other side yeah, yeah. Right. I, you, they will always cover up for each other you know <laughs> your, your 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 brother will cover up for you your your sister will cover up for you but so, i would not cover up for my brother if he does something wrong, uh, maybe you have not been into a situation. No, no, no. no. I've been in a, <laughs> I won't mention names, uh, but, but people, let me, let me when they you. see the video, they will know. Yeah. I've been into some kind of mediation. Uh -huh. But I, I don't take sides. Like, okay. if you're wrong, you're wrong. And I'll tell you either you take it or leave it. Because if I told, I'll be uh, misleading you if I told you, Douglas, you know what? Uh, your wife told me you're going through this. Maybe you're beating up, maybe you're. Uh, not taking care of the kids. Then mm -hmm. I say lying with you. I'm misleading you, right? Yes. And that that wouldn't be a friend. If I told I end up saying, "Oh, ah, it's okay, it's, it's, Let, let it's me let one. me let me take you through this, Magnum. Mm -hmm. If you are my young brother, yes, and then uh, they report to you, and, and, and my wife comes to you. Then my, then my wife reports me to you. Okay, your wife. Yeah. My 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 wife reports me to you. Okay. And uh, and then uh, I expose my wife to you, and you realize that no, look, this woman is overstepped. She has actually crossed the boundaries. Would you tell me that uh, no, look, the best thing is to divorce okay. this woman? Le, 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 le. Ah, Get okay. this woman. Okay. Would would you be that brave to tell me that, hey, man, you know, if a woman does this, I think she has overstepped your your boundaries. Why why, why don't you just let her go? Would you do that? Uh, okay, yeah, that's a bit tricky. Yes, because what happens between lovers? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> lovers, it's, it's, it's a tricky thing. Yes. Because I would tell you if I told she's really bad. Yes. Okay. Would and you? I would, yes, I would. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I would tell you if I told, uh, maybe she can change, maybe you can talk to her, maybe give her time, maybe it's just uh, like a, a situation that will go at one point. I, I would tell you. But deciding for you that she should go, yes. I wouldn't really make it like let her go. Because lovers, you guys, when you go back to your bedrooms, like, uh, things you change. Your thing. Things change, definitely. <laughs> then you start blaming me. Ah, you see, Magnum was telling me to you that I should send you away. You see, that I... there, there are very tricky situations in marriage, Magnum. I'm just giving examples or mm. scenarios. If my wife slaps my mother, okay, uh, would you not advise me to take drastic action against her and say, I know, look, if you. If now you have gone that far, I think we do, we cannot stay together. Yeah, I can tell you that. Because if I told like, right. let me say that she slaps your mother, right? Yes. Uh, that's really extreme. You you tell her, uh, no, you tell me, uh, no, let this woman go. Uh, Will you? I would tell you this is extreme. It's you to take your decision. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> that's why I said, you know, friends, friends are better mediators. Why? Uh -huh. They will tell right. you that, no, you, you can't stay with a woman who, who beats up your mother. Okay. You can't. As a friend, I and you might that. listen to a friend more than me. <laughs> yes. Be a brother, right? Because you'd be like, maybe my brother is biased with my wife. <laughs> but I think yeah. there are other friends who are really known to be good. Imagine, right? imagine you are you are telling your brother that yeah, my wife beats up our mother. Huh? Of course, your brother. Yeah, hey, let yeah. that person go straight yeah. away. Yeah, like straight yeah, away, yeah. without even looking at the circumstances what surrounding. Because there what are no circumstances <laughs> definitely that warrants a woman. To beat the husband, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. but a, but a friend will come up with, you know, will tell you that, hey, you know, this this is. But uh, would you uh, stand that woman? Uh, I I would I, I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't stay with a woman who yeah, beats up my mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't. Not at all. It's it's actually no go area. Mm. Where they, they are they are way of solving things. Actually, for me, but not beating my mother. Uh, because uh, once uh, a woman beats your mother, you it's you who has done that. Actually, you are responsible. Actually, for me, I was uh, I was not a mummy's boy. But anything that comes to my mom, my mom never does something wrong. Yeah. My mom is right. Whether she's you see. Whether she's wrong or right, she's right. And then that, that applies to your sisters and your brothers also. They will always see your mother the way you see your mother. Uh, maybe, but yes. uh, mm. definitely so, she's ever right. She's your parent. So that you know. So that means a friend would be a good mediator. Yes, I I, I believe a good a good friend, not not just a friend, a good yeah, friend yeah, would yeah, be a good yeah, mediator. Yeah. I think we have yes. a discussion about friends on the next discussion because again, <laughs> friends they can be a mess. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. a friend they I they, they can mislead they you. Also. Meet, uh, like betray, they will betray you with with passion. Certainly, yes. I. So it's it's a it's a it's a very interesting it's a very a very interesting topic. You know we. Uh, yeah. we, we, we need to look, but a mediator will definitely good, do good to, to a broken relationship. You can help you mend up a relationship. 
you, you cannot solve things uh, on your own all the time. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. yeah. You know, Sometimes you need someone to step in. You yes, need, you need second opinion, third opinion. Yeah. Yeah, the third alternative you know, sometimes we, wake it, up it's okay uh, as a couple to, the best to try to sort your things out as a couple but uh, at one point it's beyond your control like you need someone someone thinking differently to sit between you and be like hey guys this is happening but i think it should be like this exactly kind of different eyes because yeah. you you don't see things the same way all the time and when you grow yeah. together you tend to have the same kind of behaviors kind of maybe so you tend to be like you uh, uh, now i'm pissed and she's pissed so we are all pissed and yeah. uh, now <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, to, to, I think today we're going to end our discussion here, but yeah, I promise you viewers, I think uh, next time we're going to bring up uh, the friendship part. We'll talk about friends and <laughs> what the worst things they have done in life and you'll be like, no, 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 no. I think you will get for me some examples of, it, it may not have been on you, but... Uh, some scenarios that we, we have seen, seen you know, we have experienced in life, we have seen a lot things of things. And you'll be like, yes. no, no. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so let's thank our viewers. Uh, thank you for having you to our channel. It's my pleasure, Magnon. Uh, thank you, viewers, for, thank for, you guys for watching. Us. Uh, so, give me some likes, some comments, give us some uh, ideas, to anything you would want us to talk about next time. I'll bring some guests, new guests maybe. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thumbs up. <laughs>